Hey guys, World Editor here. Today, we're going to be attempting to pass through tier 15 in hopes of reaching tier 16. Now, I know I actually got here not too long ago, but since the events were going on, I was able to capitalize on it all and progress so much faster in this tier. Let me go ahead and show you what I got. I got a four piece set of Percunus, which in my opinion is still one of the best tank sets in the game, period. For the two piece, it's 5% redirect. For the three piece, it's 20% block if you have the highest health on your team. And for the four piece, you get 30% barrier along with 30% chance to heal and cleanse self when you get hit. That's pretty amazing. It's like a pet proc on steroids. Very, very awesome. I was also lucky enough to get both mythic drops when I was farming for my four piece set. I actually got them before I got my second piece. So I was like, you know what? I better use these. For the body, it's okay. I prefer my tier 14 mythic body if I'm being honest with you, but it's what I got. It's easier to upgrade and I feel like I'm not losing on the 14 bonus as much as I think I am. So I'm just gonna keep this one. It gives 4% electric resistance and 4% air damage along with silence, which is a 5% chance to prevent enemy from using SP skills. Now that's okay. It's a very low percent, but if it does proc, that's pretty nice. It could save me. And for the ring, it gives the same 4% bonuses as the other mythic along with 10% barrier if you have the highest health on your team. Now, before I go ahead and continue off with the gear change, I am going to possibly have to swap to bait if my Aladdis cannot hang for too long, seeing as they are still a two out of five stable familiar. That means their evade is pretty low. If I remember correctly, they're hovering around 47-ish percent evade. So that's under half the time they're getting hit. I also swapped from my deflect mount to my block mount. As you can see here, my deflect was 1.9 deflect. And I figured, you know what, 8% block. I already have 20% block coming my way. Might as well add to it. I have a lot of block right now as it is. Let's go ahead and see how much I have actually before anything. Now I have 66.85% block and that's before adding the 20% block, which means when I'm in the battle, if I'm still the highest health, I will have 86% block, which is pretty nice. I was also lucky enough to get my enchant. I was finally able to get all the mud I needed and all the epic materials. So I was like, you know what? I'll make a block enchant. That way I can add to what I already have. The closer to 100 you are, the better. Honestly, it's not even worth running block unless you have 100%, but it's all we got. So we have to work with it. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to get as much block as I can until I get to that 100%. And then once I roll for my accessory, I'll actually think about what I want to do afterwards with my enchants. But for right now, I just decided block is the way to go. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and go on to the quest. We are in Fenrir's Omen, Black 1, which is going to be the Feyric Mound. Traverse through the mound and defeat all the enemies. We're going to be getting rune fragments along with a major revive potion and 10k gold. I love the gold. Go ahead and check out the drops. We have a Hafia schematic, which is good for some mythic familiar fusions, but I'm not entirely sure if we need that one. We might need it. I really doubt it, but it's not important here. A lot of sick looking epic cosmetics here. I call them cosmetics, but it is gear, <laughs> but I love them as cosmetics and sprockets of course now nothing here is really worth it so if we don't get anything that's fine let's go ahead and progress on through this is going to be the team i'm thinking of putting eularius in the back Aladdis second and drazik third that way if they have any attack furthest they have a chance of deflecting back towards them and it will be a stronger enemy that will be taking a hit versus a lattice in the back that's very squishy let's go ahead and see how this goes Okay, turn off auto. Go. Okay, here's our first enemy. Pretty cool looking enemies. Okay. So for the first enemy, we have Beatos, which comes with 5% air damage. Just looking at their stats, they seem to be kind of like a damage dealer, but if you look at the skills, they do have an attack furthest, and they also have heals target teammate so they're leaning more towards a healer type role but they look like they do hit the back line the good thing is their speed is fairly low so we don't have to worry about that let's check out this other familiar 
This is Sereni, which comes with 7.5 air resistance. And just looking at their stats, they seem to be tank. It's kind of weird that they're in back, but I guess that's how it is. And it deals air damage and drain from the closest enemy. They also have a shield self for one SP and deals air damage to the weakest enemy two times. Now, the thing here with this familiar is they are a little faster, I believe, than the other ones. So although they're a tank, they will be hitting faster than the person up front. But I don't think it really matters. Honestly, it's kind of weird that they have this familiar in the back. Check it out. So I'm going to manual this before anything to see how it goes. I'm pretty sure we can steamroll through the first few. But yeah, I'm going to be giving them shields for now just to make sure everyone's topped up. I'm going to target the guy out right here second since he's about to get hit anyways. Okay, let's go ahead and do shields. Now what you want to do here if you have this exact team or a similar team is try to get your shields up as early as possible. That's something you always want to do in game is make sure that you are building your health bar. That way you are tankier all around as a team. I'm also going to be saving SP because I don't know if there's a third familiar in this dungeon yet that might give me a problem. So I'm just going to save SP. It seems like everything here is going okay. No real problems. I'm going to zero SP everything here. Zero SP. Your SP, so on and so forth. So let's just keep it going. Honestly, this seems pretty doable. I might even auto through here after the next one. We'll check it out. So far, they don't have an attack weakest, so I'm safe no matter what. I could even... Closest. No, it's closest. They do have a weakest enemy. I forgot this guy has a weakest enemy. Okay. Okay, that was pretty easy. Let's go on to this next one. It doesn't seem like there's any new familiars, and that last one was pretty easy, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on auto. I'll see you at the end of the dungeon. All right, and that's the end of the dungeon. It seems that we got some XPs and some gold. Okay, there's our reward. We're now progressing onto flag two which is going to be Equos Circle. Find and defeat Equos. It's going to be giving us Ancient Fragments along with five Epic Material and 10K Gold. Seems like the drops are the same, except they added the Mud, which is worth every time. Now, this team seems to have been doing very good, so we're going to go ahead and continue on with this team. Go ahead and accept. Okay, let's go ahead and turn off auto. This seems like a new guy here. He seems pretty cool looking. Now he is in the back. 7.5 air damage. Now just looking at their stats, you can actually see that they are more of an offensive type familiar due to the fact that they do have more speed and a smaller health pool. They are leaning towards the damage dealing type of familiar. They do have a pretty sick first ability, which is very, very scary actually for our Lattice which is deals air damage to the weakest enemy and bleed. Now that bleed right there is very, very dangerous for a lattice. We have to be very careful. We also have deals air damage to the strongest enemy and weakest. So this guy is a big, big problem. We are going to have to take him out immediately every time. And for the last ability he has, he has deals air damage to target enemy and bleed. So no matter what, he can either target out a Lattice or Drazic, which is very, very troublesome. We need to take him out. He should be priority number one every time. Right now, I'm just going to be healing myself since I'm going to be getting bled quite a bit. When I have a turn on Drazic, I'm going to be targeting out the backline instead. See how he died fairly quickly. Now this move right here drains from the closest three enemies. I'm going to do this one so I could poke him in the back. There you go. Now for Aladdis, since he still might have bleed procs on him, you might want to start healing. Now, if you guys do like putting on damage numbers in the settings while you're fighting, it's a good chance to see how many bleed stacks you have on you. I believe it's a max of three. If you have three bleed stacks on, then it will be pretty much bleeding you for a little more. So what we're gonna do here is just keep shielding until we actually lose a little bit of health and then we're gonna target the back line and after that, we're gonna zero SP to save as much as possible. There you go. 
Okay, so we did take a tiny little bit of damage, but we are coming out of that with more health than losing. So that's pretty good. We have a little more health and a little more SP, which means it's very, very safe. And probably auto, but let's go ahead and manual right now, just in case. It seems like we one-shot him, which is not too bad. I think I'm going to attack instead of heal. Okay, let's go ahead and poke the back line. Go ahead and heal myself. Now, I feel like I'm going to be bleed proc, so I'm going to heal myself real quick. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right, so it doesn't seem like we can auto through here, so I'm just going to manual my way through since a lattice is the problem right now. I think before he gets too many bleed procs, I'm going to take out the guy in the back. Okay, I'm going to heal myself. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and heal. Now we're going to damage the back line. Not, oh, what? I don't even know how that just happened. He healed and the guy in front died. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and drain. Okay, so this is dangerous. Turn up the heal. He might die here. Let's go ahead and heal. Zero SP. That's the scary part. Okay, we have no choice here. I'm going to try to shield myself. I can damage the back, but I think I should heal instead. I'm going to heal the front. I'm going to do heals here. We need to get our heals up. Oof. Okay, so we lost our first guy, but that's not too bad. I think we'll be fine. Let's major revive him, but keep that in mind that he is gone. Because he does get attacked by his strongest. So when he does the strongest and weakest attack, it'll attack both of these. Until he has a slower health pool than me. So we have to be careful. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. Go on this way. Get out of here. It's a rip off. Okay. All right, so the scariest scenario so far has been three of these guys, but it seems like it's a smart idea to take them out fairly quickly. Ooh, okay, we can go ahead and bribe him. Nah, we can get him. This guy's pretty low. I think I'm going to target him with a lattice instead. There you go. And get rid of him right away. Now we can just focus on building shields, but it seems like I'm probably going to kill them by accident. I don't want Let's try our best not to by just using healing abilities. Nah, they still died fairly quickly. It's unfortunate. That's fine. We'll proceed on through as normal. We got another one of these guys. We have an SP shrine there. That's pretty nice. Oh, we're pretty good at this. Take him out in the back. Ooh, he didn't die. Okay, so I'm going to definitely have to shoot him with a left. Now, this is troublesome. I'm getting hit pretty hard over here. So I'm going to see if I can use this drain from target enemy and get him out. Ooh, okay. I think I need to heal here more than anything and then target. <sighs> target this guy. Even though it's overkill, it's still worth it. Now we could feed off these guys and heal as much as possible. Best thing to do would be to shield with a lattice only and rely on Jurassic's heals. Since they are pretty beefy. nice those are some nice heals honestly you get rid of one of these there now these guys do have attack furthest i believe so that's why a lattice is still getting poked out no need to fear coming up really fast there you go we're pretty popped off there and we're gonna leave this with a lot of sp on a lattice we really don't need actually not grab this chest. There you go. Let's go ahead and grab this SP shrine so we don't have any problems. Let's keep you nuking out with Drazig. Okay, so we only got one guy. That's perfect. Nuke him out. And then we're just going to do shields, rain, and then go ahead and do normal attacks. Keep the SP. Shields, normal. I'll use drain on him. Shields, normal. Okay, shields. Fairly, fairly easy to get through the flag. Only problem was, surprisingly, Hilarious. Now, I am going to have a problem where if the boss is this guy, yeah, he is. He might just destroy a Lattice and then Hilarious instantly. So we got to be careful here. Good thing is we saved all the SP. I think we should just focus on him. So let's go ahead and use our two in the back. Look at that. And then here you could focus him again and boom. 
And since I know he's the last enemy, I'm just going to auto through. Now, that honestly was kind of scary, but it's fine. We were able to get through it. I'm surprised we lost someone on Flag 2, but it is getting harder. We are finally reaching Endgame. This is pretty much the intro to Endgame, in my opinion. So we have XPs and gold, of course, along with the other goodies that we normally get. For our rewards, we have five epic material, ancient fragments, and gold. We are now on the third flag, which is going to be deep hillock. Push through and defeat all the enemies on the hillock. We're going to be getting elemental fragments, mount guts, and gold. Let's go ahead and enter on through. Keep the team the same. So it just seems like it defeat all enemies, so I'm just going to manual this as normal, keeping the same patterns, trying to build shields, and keeping Aladdis alive. Now, having a lot of these guys as your first encounter is very dangerous. You're going to only heal with Aladdis, no shields, just heals. And you're going to nuke the backline slowly with everyone else as you go through. You might have to waste one turn healing Aladdis with Drazik, but it just depends. Like right here, I'm going to have to heal with or he's going to die. Go ahead and shield myself up a bit. Ooh, see what I mean? He's uh, pretty low, but it's only because we have no SP saved. I have to revive him already. Go ahead and nuke him out in the back. Heal myself. It's looking very, very dangerous. I'm not sure if we can pass through here. We already lost a lattice and he has half a health bar and we just started. Okay, so here I'm going to actually nuke out the back. Dang, okay. So the good thing is right now our Eulerius is technically the lowest. So as long as we keep him in a low health pool, we will be fine. But yes, as you can see here, me ignoring a lattice is literally probably gonna cost me these progression flags. But we can go ahead and try. I'm not gonna heal him because I want him to be low. I'll wait for him to get a little low like that. Then I'll do some heals. I'm trying to save some SP before anything. And now, as you can see here, I got hit. I don't even know why I got hit. Does he have a weakest? Yeah, he does. So I was weakest for a little bit there. So I gotta not use my healing ability on Hilarious now. All right. So we were able to get through that, but it is kind of scary. We have to defeat all the enemies. Okay, whew, okay, I always love seeing that. Use nothing but drain with Larius right now. Take out as many guys as possible though. As many as possible. Save SP on Drazic. Just save it. Keep yourself alive in front. Save that SP. Save it all. Save it all. Save it all. Okay. Now we're gonna have to do one little heal on Larius. He, no drain for Eularius. He's getting too high health. There you go. He's nice and poked out. We can chuck a heal up front. Nice. So everything's okay. As you can tell, like I said before, Aladdis was definitely the problem on the team. He's a very solid fam. I just... Man, I need to put some time in him. Boom. Take the guy out and back. Hero SP. Go ahead and take out this guy in the back real quick as well. Seems to be doing pretty good. I think I, I think he's the tank. I can't remember. Go ahead and drain. Keep my health up just a little bit. All right. Let's go ahead and heal Eularius. Drain. Heal him again. Oh, he can't heal no more, so we're just gonna stick with this. See if he can survive himself. Does not seem like he can. I'm gonna chuck a heal at him. Drain again, chuck one more heal at him. Oof, that is not good actually. Okay, so hopefully he loses a little bit of health. I might move him to the front just so he can take an initial hit right now. <clears throat> now, the reason I'm doing this is so he takes a hit and becomes weakest again. So we're gonna see if he can become weakest again because I believe he has more health than Drazik does currently. I'm gonna take the guy in the back, nice. Not wanna come with us, that's fine. Okay, he's still a little high health. Back in the front. We'll drain a little bit because he's able to get hits in. Heal myself. Or sorry, have Drazic heal himself. Okay, save SP. Okay, he's low enough to where I'll put him in back now. I feel a lot better like that. 
We just got to keep an eye on his health and I'll drain. Now I got to heal him. Ooh, that heal didn't do anything. I heal him again. Okay. You don't want to have to heal. <laughs> I really don't want to, but I might have to. No, everything seems fine. The lower count in enemies, the better. I'm going to heal him once. See, now he's too strong. I got to put him up front again. But if you do ever lose your bait, that is a good way to do it. You use one of your tanks that obviously is your strongest tank. And you try to have them pretty much take hits until they're low enough to be the bait by putting them up front. That way they get all the initial hits. Yes, this should be the last enemy and then we'll be fine, I believe. Okay, so there's none of those guys, which is fantastic. Just zero SP. Looks like Jurassic's brain is kicking in. Let's go. Attack enemy team. That's working pretty fabulous. Okay, so zero SP, zero SP. What in? I will just zero SP all the way. Just to be safe. You never know. You always want to have a backup plan. Now that he's weak enough, I'm going to go to the front and heal my guy. And honestly, this flag was so much easier than I thought it was. It's just worrying about a lattice that the problem is. <laughs> a lattice is, uh, he needs work. He needs work. I'm going to go ahead and continue and see what loot there is that I might have forgotten. Nice. Go back to town. So there's my reward. Let's go ahead and collect. And we are on to our first dungeon, which is great. Get to use our carries, as always. It's defeat Hayfest and Link the Tumul. Tumul? Tumul? Tumuli? However you say that, Tumuli. There you go. I'm going to say Tumuli. It sounds better. Let's go ahead and check out the rewards. But first off, we're going to be getting stat points and 100 gems. That's awesome. We have mud along with the same schematic and the necro skulls. Same drops pretty much. Nothing's changed. Go ahead and enter. Let's go ahead and clear my team. <clears throat> Let's see who we got. I'm going to use Ninja. And I will also use Batman. Then I will use Bootneck. But I will probably put Bootneck in the Okay. And that's how my team's gonna be. It's going to accept. I don't need this over team overkill team, but it's pretty much just what I wanted to run. I'm gonna go ahead and auto through this dungeon and I'll see you at the boss. Oi, are you here for the gig? Come on, the bar is waiting. You are not with the punk band? I don't care, I'll make you play. He looks pretty sick, honestly. Let's go ahead and check him out. Hayfest, 10% air damage. He is leaning towards a DPS familiar. He does have a lot of speed and a very low health pool with a decent amount of damage. Let's go ahead and check out the skills. Hurricane deals air damage to the closest two enemies. Nice. That's pretty nice for just a zero SP. Deals air damage to random enemy two times. Pretty nice. I'm not sure if it's the same enemy twice or random twice, but that's pretty awesome. Deals air damage to weakest enemy and bleed. Now that is like a very, very strong ability for just a regular epic familiar. Deals air damage to the closest three enemies. So that is pretty gnarly as well. Very, very scary familiar indeed, but it doesn't seem to be too troublesome seeing as we can use our carries. But if you do have weaker carries or you are trying to use familiars only, I do recommend taking them out before anyone else, even before that dog dude. I forgot his name, the cloud dog. But yeah, you're going to take this guy out first for sure. I'm going to go ahead and auto on through and I'll see you the end of the dungeon all right that's our loot xps and gold with the average amount of goodies as normal we also got the stat points and the hundred gems okay let's collect fungal cavern find your way out of the fungal cavern defeating all enemies we're going to be getting rune fragments along with e with a major healing potion and 10k gold. The drops are going to be way more schematics than the first one. 
which is going to be Lady Spark and Schematic and Thunwolf Schematic, both very, very, very fabulous familiars that we are not going to be going for, sadly. We also have the Gobo Yobo Schematic, the Solby Schematic, and the Brayugaya Schematic. Now, we aren't going to be focusing on anything here, so don't even worry about any of these drops. Let's just continue as normal. We're going to keep the team the same until we figure out how the familiars are in this layout. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, turn off auto. It's a cool looking area. Don't. Ooh, okay. So this guy actually makes a very, very strong familiar that you are able to make fairly early in the game. So I do recommend going for this guy. All right, let's go ahead and start off with the first familiar here up front, which is going to be Tiriro, which is going to be 7.5% fire damage. They are leaning towards more of a DPS style, healer style type of role, seeing their stat distribution. Now for their first skill, they have Flame Straightener, which is pretty cool. It deals fire damage to the weakest enemy. But they also have Cleansing Fumes for their one SP, which is spread heal teammates. They are a healer type familiar. And they also have Reco, Reco Flame, <laughs> Reco Flame. I don't know exactly how to say that. Heals target teammate for a certain percentage. Nice. If we go to the second familiar here, we have Anatoly, which is 7.5% fire damage. Seeing as this damage usually indicates that they are a damage dealing familiar or healer. Looking at their stats though, and seeing as we already had a healer, I'm pretty sure they are going to be a harder hitting DPS familiar. Seeing their skills that confirms it as they have a deals fire damage to target enemy and combustion. Now that combustion part is pretty scary. Gotta be careful, too many combustion stacks will get you killed. They also have Flaming Bear Charge, which is their 1 SP, deals fire damage to the closest 3 enemies, so they can pretty much nuke out all the 3 important characters in my team. Right now, Hilarious is in the back, just so we can take backline damage. This is very, very scary. We might have to put Drazig in the back, unless they have an attack furthest. So we do have deals fire damage to weakest enemy and combustion as her third ability. I'm going to be putting Drazig in the back for now, putting Hilarious second. This is going to be my team layout, only because they don't have an attack furthest. Drazig is definitely safest in the back. Go ahead and try attacking these guys and see how it is. Okay, we already got hit once. Gonna have to heal myself. Ooh, he's getting hit pretty bad. Be careful here. Let's go ahead and heal him. Damage guy up front. Fields. Okay. That is very, very scary. I'm pretty sure it has to deal with the target and combustion. So seeing as we don't have any problem taking out a Lattice, we might have to take him out and put in a Eularius. So let's go ahead and check that out. But first, we're going to go actually swap our Eularius to the front again, see if we can get weaker than our Drazig. Go ahead and just use nothing but raw damage here. Nothing but raw damage. Take them out. If you have to heal anyone, you're just going to heal Drazig. Okay. Yeah, so it seems like we're going to have to quit this battle. Seeing this is already a very scary thing to see. So I am already terrified. Let's go ahead and switch our team out, which is crazy. Go ahead and take out Lattice. Problem here is they're going to pretty much do whatever they want to Drazig as it is. I wish I had a redirect bone. Do I have a redirect bone? I do, but it's not mattering. Okay. Let's go ahead and try this out, see if we can do anything. He is weakest, so it is going to be scary. I am probably going to go to the weakest since I don't have the highest health anyways. Go ahead and try that out. Let me try swapping over these pieces to damage. There you go. And now I should be weakest at 5,000. There you go. All right, sweet. Now let's go ahead and put the Hilarious right there. I'm still not the weakest, but if I'm up front, I should be fine. Let's try that out. I really don't want to have to reforge more pieces. That would be very, very unfortunate. But it looks like I might have to. Drazi's already getting hit pretty hard. I'm going to take this guy out. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I am definitely going to have to reforge one more piece. Still very scary, but if I do, I'm going to lean towards my deflect. 
I'm going to be switching my mount. I'm already going to drop the health, so I won't have to worry about reforging anything. Let's go ahead and equip. He has on 3000 right there. I am also going to swap my block runes over to deflect. Since I'm not taking advantage of the block anymore for my set, I don't see a point in using block right now. I feel much safer using my deflect. Okay, we got the deflect going on there. And let's go ahead and start this again. We're gonna keep teams like this. Cause I'm going to have me up in the, th mm, I'll probably go first again. See how it is. Let's try it out. Okay. So I am terrified. This is a very, very hard flag so far, but it seems fine. Going. Now I'm going to save as much SP as possible to heal my guy. I'm going to use nothing but shielding for myself just to make sure that I can take it. And it seems like everything's going so much better putting myself as bait. Even though I'm bait, I'm still in the front because I know that I can survive and I know I have a good amount of stats to um, pretty much sustain and heal the rest of my team with my pets. So I think I'd rather be up front. Okay, everything seems fine. If I do start having a problem, I might just start targeting the back line, but right now everything seems... I'm going to shield myself next time I can. Myself. Since my damage is so high, I'm able to shield myself pretty effectively. I'm going to go ahead and heal everyone on my team if possible. Okay, no problem. This seems a lot smoother. Unfortunately, we did lose the ring and the 3 out of 4 that bonus, but it's fine. We still have a pretty good amount of stats. Seeing as we're here and I do have a lot of SP, I'm going to just target the back line. Go ahead and drain with these guys. Okay, I'm gonna target the back again. Nice. Target the back. Perfect. And just drain. I should have shielded myself, but that is fine. <laughs> Let's keep it going. I think we're gonna get through here with ease now that we have me as bait. Cool thing is Drazi can be completely safe in the back. Target the back again. Nice, we were able to one-shot him. Okay, here we're gonna hear Eulerius, or heal Eulerius, sorry. Because I think he's gonna start getting hit by the strongest procs. I don't want that to happen. I wanna stay, or the weakest procs, sorry. I wanna stay weakest. Okay. Everything seems fine here. I think I'm gonna save SP now. I'll just drain with him when I have to. I'll shield myself there. There you go. Nice. Okay. Go down here. Okay, cool. These guys do look pretty cool, though. I do like this little barrel guy. He's pretty cool. Go ahead and nuke out the back again. Your SPs on the Hilarious and myself until I get my shield. You've got the back with Jurassic. Nice. Zero SP, zero SP, zero SP. Shield self, zero SP. Awesome. We got out of there pretty topped up. Check this out. Some more guys. There might be one more done. Doesn't seem like it. This might be the last familiar. Now there's three of these guys, so I'm going to nuke them out quick while I, while I can. I'm going to do the drain one. You've got the back. You got the back. Get these guys out of the way. Nice. Okay, Mia's bait seems to be working. We did have a little bit of a hiccup, but we were able to get through and figure it out. I'm going to have to go bait for this. It's unfortunate, but it seems like the only option I have right now. Let's go ahead and go on to the sixth flag. Anatoly's home cap. Find and defeat Anatoly. We're going to be getting ancient fragments along with a bubbling cauldron for epics and 10k gold now the drops are the same except they have a mud now go and enter this team seemed to have been doing fairly decent i'm going to keep me up front i'm going to see if i could find the boss familiar just by pretty much scouting around before deciding who i want to fight and i feel like if i go higher it'll be better for me i'm taking a lot of damage already so i got to be a little careful here if this is a drain i'm going to use it okay drain i'm going to use that 
to go ahead and target the back. I seem to be fine for now. Oof. So in a situation like this, you could swap over for a sec. Try to shield yourself until you get your heels up like that. Swap back. Seeing that was very, very scary though. You have to be very, very careful. My health is fine. Ooh, nice. I think I was able to deflect them. Go on here. Check him out also. Okay, let's target off the back. Ooh, taking a lot of damage. Gotta swap him over. Might have to put a Eularis up front for this one. Healed myself. Okay, I'm alive somehow. Let's keep healing. Zero SP, zero SP. Zero SP. I will be second for right now. It seems like the safest bet for me. Okay. Not sure if it's the boss. Doesn't seem like it. It is. <laughs> You think you are like a piece of brick? I must iron you. I don't know what that means. I know the lines are not right. It's copyrighted. But you can call me IGO. Dravan? <laughs> Dravan? I don't know. I, I, I don't get the reference. Let's keep it going. Okay, he is already hurting me and it makes me want to cry, but it's fine. I'm not crying yet. So let's just target him in the back. I think it's better if we just revive myself here. I'm going to revive myself and see if everything will be okay. I'm going to just do as much damage as possible. We need to get to him as fast as possible. Ah, okay, we took him out, nice. Everything should be fine from here on out. Everything was going a little smooth beforehand. I'm gonna go ahead and continue. So if we lose, I think we'll win no matter what. So it'll be fine, might as well continue. All right, let's take out the back guy. Try to do as much damage as possible to get through here. Nice. Okay. Doing a pretty stellar job here. Nice. Okay. Honestly, that boss I thought was going to be a lot harder, but they surprisingly weren't. This is great. Get them all. I mean, technically, you can just go to the front, so we're gonna start going from the front. The damage here, max. So we're definitely using one in the front. Nice. Here, I'm just gonna use zero SP because he's gonna die anyways. Use a stronger attack there. I use a drain to start poking the back and heal that little bit I have lost. Second, there, and zero SP. Nice. That might have been the last one. Wasn't. Hopefully this guy is. Okay, target the back. Damage as possible. I'll drain my health back up. And I think we'll be fine. I think I'm just gonna attack normal. We're fine. Let me heal my guy. Nice. Okay. Looks like there's just loot. Nice. Perfect. I love free loot. Who doesn't love free loot? Awesome. <laughs> we went ahead and got through that. Luckily, I was honestly very terrified that we were going to get stuck there. That's our rewards. Go ahead and check out this other flag. Oh, I thought that was the sixth flag. That was the fifth flag. Here is the sixth flag. Cleanse the spore tunnel of all enemies. We're going to be getting elemental fragments along with super potion and NK gold gonna be the same drop so disregard any anything here just keep going I'm gonna keep the team the way it is because dang I was getting destroyed okay Ooh, this guy looks very cool hopefully he's not a problem check him out he is very fast I think yes I felt that okay 5% fire damage and they have a lot of speed and you can tell that they're a damage dealer they Deal fire damage to the closest two enemies and combustion. So I'm going to have to go third for this. Deals fire damage to the furthest enemy two times. I'm going to have to go fourth for this. That is terrifying. Okay. So I'm going to go fourth and we're going to keep Drazig in third. I think that's technically the safest if we do come across Anatoly. So let's go ahead and go through this. I have a closest two. They do have a closest. So I'm going to be hit no matter what. Go ahead and try this out. 
he seems very weak so we can do this we just got to be careful i'm gonna save as much sp as i can for when i gotta heal he seems to just be tickling me right now but combust will change that so i gotta be careful everything seems fine here pretty cool familiar Okay, it's crazy how we weren't really able to manual any of these. We had or auto any of these. We had to manual them all. That's showing you how much harder it's getting. It's getting way harder. But I promise you, if you just stay in a certain tier and focus your familiars until you max them out, it'll be fine. Okay, seems pretty chillin' so far. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do this. I'm actually gonna slap on auto to see if we can auto it. So far we can. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and auto on through this dungeon. I'll see you at the end. Okay, and those are the rewards, or the drops. We got some gems, which is pretty nice. Now we're going to go on to the second dungeon. We did get our super potion along with our elemental fragments and gold. Very, very nice. We are at Bagabaya's Fungal Lawn. Defeat Bagabaya and escape her Fungal Lawn. We're going to be getting stat points along with gems. These are the drops, same as always. Go ahead and enter. I'm gonna go ahead and use my carries and I'll see you when I get to the boss. Yo ho 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 ho. Do you want some chipasitas? <laughs> well, too bad for you. I only have the fire left. No, don't kill her. No. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, let's check her out. This is Bagabaya, 10% fire resistance. They have very low health, but they have a mad amount of damage, indicating that they are probably a bait familiar of some sorts for their skills. They have deals fire damage to the closest enemy and combustion. That looks like a very cool animation, that's nice. Fire knit, shield self, pretty nice, pretty nice. Deals fire damage to all enemies. Right, and deals fire damage to the weakest enemy and combustion. Okay, so honestly, since they do hit pretty hard and they do have a damage all enemies, I really do recommend you attack them as fast as possible. They do have a very low health pool, so it shouldn't be too bad. If you are using your carries, of course, you should be able to get through this very easily, but if you aren't, try to focus her out first. I'm gonna go ahead and auto on through this and I'll see you at the end. All right, there you go. Give me those gems and stat points. Thank you. Oh, no. I think I accidentally re ran Okay. Now we're going on to the seventh flag, which is cross the cursed fence and defeat all the enemies guarding it. I do have rune fragments and gold along with a potion for energy as my reward. Let's check out the chest. Everything's the same here. No real schematics to go for. Just keep on going through. Now for the team, we're gonna have to change it up again. I think I'm going to put a Yularis in back, a Yularis up front, me second, and then Drazig. Just until we see how it is. Okay, this guy looks pretty cool. It's a little dark here. Let's check him out. Blur, <laughs> blur, blurg. I'm gonna call him blurg. Blurg does five percent earth damage, and they do seem like they're leaning towards a DPS or healer. Just checking out their skills, you can see that they are a healer. They have a deals earth damage to closest enemy. Really cool effect, and spread heal teammates. Seems like a fairly easy enemy to go through. I'm gonna go ahead and just zero SP going to swap out the back and the front seeing as it's the closest enemy he won't get hit again 
and I can just focus on healing him. Hey, let me actually put myself up front. Maybe it'll be better that way right now. Go ahead and heal up these guys real quick and then zero SP all the way through. Remember the less guys you have, easier to be for you guys to stack SP and heal yourselves. Okay, and just remember we did switch our mount, so we do have a different mount skill. Let me go ahead and show you what that is. It's going to be spread heal teammates once per adventure. So I will have that just in case I need it. I will be swapping. Getting very scared. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and heal me again. I think I'm good here. Just zero SP. Save all the SP. You never know what other enemies await us in this dungeon. Go down. We do have a health shrine. There's another one. Let's see if there's some. Oh, there is another guy right here. Maybe he'll be in this group. Yes, he is. Awesome. Okay. Grunturg. Grunturg? Grunturg. All right. <laughs> D okay. 7.5% earth resistance. They do seem like a tank, and I don't know why they're in the back, but they are. So it deals earth damage to the closest and root. Shield self. And deals earth damage to all enemies. Now that's pretty pretty simple if i do remember correctly this is going to be the hardest enemy to face when they are in their boss form for this area hopefully we can destroy them it seems like the shield self is what's going to bother us the most along with the damage to all enemies since there is a damage to all enemies and they do have a shield self with a very high health pool i might actually have to unstable one drazik just so i can have two and have more damage being dealt towards them so that seems like it's going to be the plan if it comes to it. I'm just planning ahead of time. So yeah, it seems like we're going to have to take him out. Oh, look, that guy looks so cool. Let's take him out first. He does have a damage on enemies and that will be affecting our Drazig a lot. Go ahead. Um, nice, target him out. I know it sounds weird to take him out first, but if you see here, the speed isn't that crazy different. He is going to be able to attack all of us very, very often. And that's something I want to avoid. So here we're just going to heal as much as we can with everybody. Go, I'm going to swap out my one now. Up. And now that we're topped off, I can zero SP until we have to heal again. Put myself up front, actually, because I can just shield myself or heal myself fairly easily now that I have SPs. Okay. We're doing fairly good here. I think I'm going to use a shield self here in a second. Self. I'm going to heal my second Hilarious. Again. And I'll swap. A Go ahead and drain to get that capped off. There you go. All right. Pretty simple so far. I can already tell you that this familiar right here is going to definitely be the problem especially with this placement in the back. Now we have a team of three of them here. If you see here, this is 2200 speed. This one here is 4000 speed. Although they have a lot of health, they have a lot more speed than anything. Other than, I mean, they have a lot more speed than damage, so they are going to be proccing it quite often. So you can get rid of the front guy if you want, just so you can access them faster with all enemies, but that's entirely up to you. You can't necessarily one-shot them with Drazig. You see here, just doing that, I'm hardly even touching them, so I can already tell that familiar is going to be a problem. Go and just keep hitting the front, seeing as it won't matter. I'll move myself to the front, actually, since I'm going to be getting poked out anyways. Saving all my SPs for heals. The Drazik takes on this healer role, actually. It's kind of weird, but he does. Go through this. We might even be able to bring in Blinka if we might need Blinka instead of a second Hilarious. I might try that after this to see if it works better. Okay. Just like the Hilarious for the Deflect procs and the Redirect, which is why I'm liking that so far. Everything seems fine here. Maxed out SPs, nothing seems to be going wrong. Me up front, everything seems fine. This guy actually doesn't do anything, surprisingly. I thought he would, but... Maybe it's only when he's souped up, because I remember facing him on my other account, and he was, <laughs> he was a problem. Let's just say that. We'll check it out. You have a health shrine. Let's go past it. All right. Seems pretty easy. 
I might even just auto. Should I auto? I'm gonna try autoing, see how it goes. Honestly, this is going by pretty smooth. I think I'm just gonna auto through the rest of this with this team layout. I'll see you all at the end of the dungeon. Okay, gonna be our rewards right there. Our loot. Along with the energy bottle and the rune fragments and gold. All right, and now we are going to the eighth flag. And honestly, usually the eighth flag is the hardest flag. This is going to be Grunturg's mausoleum. Dive into the mausoleum and defeat Grunturg. Now, I'm honestly very, very scared. First off, we have ancient fragments, badge pouches, uh, 10k gold, and the same drops. The team, though, this is what I'm worried about. I'm going to keep the team like this and hope for the best. But I think I'm actually going to unstable a Drazig. I can use another one. I don't think I have enough to make a seventh Drazig, so I'm going to have to split one off, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and see if this helps. Go ahead and go here. Whoops. Sorry, wrong one. Go ahead and go to the flag. Let's take off a Eularius. We'll put me up front and we'll put another Drazig right there. And that's going to be the team. I think this will give us some more sustain. Being able to heal more often will be nice. And um, if we do have to put another person up front, we can just slap Eularius in the front. So let's try this. Okay, first enemy. As you can see here, we do have someone new and this guy looks pretty awesome actually. Let's check him out. Lamor. It's gonna be 7.5 earth damage. They do have a lot of damage, low speed and low health, which means they're going to be pretty easy to explode. They have deals earth damage to weakest enemy and root. So that's gonna be targeting my character. Damage, uh, deals earth damage to a random enemy two times. That's pretty scary, but you can't really help that. And deals earth damage to target enemy and root. So they are gonna be targeting either me or Drazig out. So let's check this out. Seems like they lose health quite easily though. I'm gonna go ahead and drain to heal up. Now that drain is the only reason why I'm actually able to stay alive here pretty easily. Nice, we got one right away. Okay, and here you just zero SP he is pretty harmless. You just zero SP and save it all up. Here, yep. All right. I think I'm going to go right because it seems like there's more options. Now the main goal is to take out the boss before anything. I'm going to zero SP everything here because it seems like we'll be fine. If anything, I'll slap some shields on me at the very end. Everything here seems pretty good. You can see here everyone else is pretty solid. I haven't even dropped any health, just shields. Here's where I'm going to start slapping on the shields for my character. There. Fine, I'm building SP up again. Nice. Awesome. So, very, very, very topped off. Everything seems pretty good here. I'm going to peek here real quick. Okay, I'm going to peek. Okay, that's a dead end. We can go this way, get the gold real quick. I have to run into this guy. I feel like he'll be this way. That might be him right there, actually. Okay, so we got the guys up front more than anything since they are the problem. Okay, just just like last time, zero SP all the way through until you get to the last guy and then shield yourself. If I can. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Okay. Alright, so I'm kind of scared. Let's see how this is going to be. This is usually where everyone gets stuck. I think this is him. It seems like it. The ketchup is coming. This time, forever. Forever? Forever? <laughs> that kind of confused me. Okay, here we are. So we're doing okay. This is the closest. Does this guy attack furthest? He does not, but he does do all enemies. So I'm going to put Eularius up front for now. Just for now. All of my focus is going to be on the back. See how that goes. See, that was pretty weak. I tickled him. So let's take out the guys up front first. They seem pretty easy. And put me up front now. Drain. 
Press P. All right, this is where it gets scary. Kill me. Let's damage the guy up front. Get rid of him real quick. Ooh, okay, okay. Looking very bad. We lost a lot of good SP there. That's unfortunate. Put Eulerius back up front. See, this is already looking like the problem. Doesn't look like we're going to do so good here. Go ahead and heal him before he dies. And we'll put me back up front. Rid of him. Rain to heal. Stay alive. Rid of him again. Okay. I died again. That is great. Does not seem like we're going to pass it on this run. It looks pretty possible. I was able to do a lot of damage to him right there. Maybe we can. Let's check this out. Go ahead and heal me just in case we can actually do it this run. Yeah, we cannot. That's unfortunate, but it did look pretty promising. As you saw there, we got rid of the front two and we got him down to half health. I think if I just focused on nuking out the front, it would have been so much better. But unfortunately, I did not. Let's try that again. Okay. Good thing is everything here seems pretty easy. Zero SP. Put me in the back. What does he do again? We guess regardless it'll hit me, but it'll also prevent me from getting hit by this guy as well. So it'll put me in the back for now. Just for now. Until we get rid of these guys here. Go ahead. Razig. Okay, we got rid of him. I'm gonna go up front now. Go ahead and shield myself. We'll heal me and we'll just zero SP all the way through. Build shields with my pet. Nice. all right again take out the front two guys the front two are very very strong there you go zero sp zero sp zero sp zero sp build myself zero sp all the way through all the way through Good thing is you can pretty much stack up a lot of SP and a lot of shields on all the enemies here, making it a lot easier to um, get to the boss and actually do what you have to do. So that's always good. Okay, let's go up here, see if we can avoiding them. Let's go left here. All right, so there's a lot of these guys here up front, so we gotta take them out fast. They're going to be nuking my guy here up front. I am going to hit all three. Okay. Going to heal me. Okay, everything's good here. I'm going to shield myself. Keep on going. I feel like I'll get the rest of the heals I need from my Tobert. Now, the main goal is I should save a lot of SP on World Eater, or Nub Eater, sorry, so I can use my mount skill just in case I really have. Okay, so unfortunately he's not over here. Let me come up here, way up. He might be over here. Check this out. Okay, remember the guys up front every time. And zero SP, this was super solid. This was a very efficient run right there on those guys. Those guys got pretty destroyed pretty fast. Okay, let me go ahead and shield myself if possible. Get all the shields I can, because my health pool is very low me in the back so I don't get those initial hits from the front guys oh unfortunate okay I'm gonna have to go on through these guys over here I didn't want to do that but that's fine you could have actually reached him already all right so let's just go closest Get rid of all these guys all right front Zero SP, zero SP, shield self, zero SP, zero SP, zero SP, zero SP, zero SP, shield self, zero SP, zero SP, nice. As long as we have around three. Ooh, I didn't swap. That sucks. Okay, that's fine. Um, We'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. It'll be okay. Let's check this out. Okay, there are the initial hits I really didn't want to take, <laughs> but we took them. Now all we're gonna do, all we're gonna do is just nuke back, nuke back, nuke back. I do not care, we're gonna nuke back. Boom, okay. Nuke the back. Nuke the back. 
Okay, we lost. We lost Hilarious. I'm gonna bring him back. I'll go up front this time. Let's go ahead and nuke the back a little bit more. Nuke the back. Okay, we're doing good. I'm going to drain to get some health. Nice. Nuke the back. Nuke the back. Okay, we're doing good. Nuke the back. Nuke the back. Drain to get some health. Looking very dangerous here. Nuke the back. Nuke the back. Okay, bring back Drazig. Back. Nuke the back. I'm gonna spread heal. Nice. Nice little reset we got there. Ooh, I'm down. Very fast, actually. Let's put me in back. Put Hilarious back up front. This seems good. Yes. Okay, we got him. Nice. Honestly, wasn't too hard. A lot of people were saying it was gonna be a stopping point, but I was able to still pass through it, which is lucky. But yeah, we did have to change some things, but that is completely fine. Let's go ahead and collect. Nice. Okay. So we're going on to the last flag. Find your way through the dark tomb of the giants and defeat all enemies. We're going to be getting elemental fragments with one golden ticket roll and 10k gold. These are the drops. Go ahead and enter. I'm going to keep the team like this because it seemed to be pretty efficient. Double Drazig is very, very nice. Proceed. Now, I'm not sure if I can auto. But I'm just going to manual since I know these guys up front are pretty dangerous. Yeah, see my health there? Very, very dangerous. I have to keep using my two. But that is fine. A lot of sustain. Keep it going. Zero SPs. And I'll shield myself when possible. There it is. Bunch of zero SPs coming their way. All right. Nice. Continue. Some more enemies here now i'm going to target these guys so when you're on this flag you don't want to just hit the front guys you want to target these um bat wing guys the lamores you want to target them out first because they hit like a truck that's for sure make sure i get rid of them real quick and then i won't have to worry about them then you can just zero sp your way to victory Your SP, your way to victory. Okay, nice. Right. Another one. I wish I could auto, but I just don't feel safe with this familiar here. He's very, very strong. Like here I can auto, not a problem, no worries at all. But when I get to that one familiar, he has a big chance of destroying me, so it scares me a lot. Come over here, there's none of them, I will auto, but there's two, so I'll take them out real quick, and I'll auto. Nice, okay. enemies hopefully this is one of the last one if not the last on the back pick out of here and get out of here then auto nice very very easy finish to a very hard area i'm gonna be honest there was two hard areas in this area or in this zone it was very <laughs> very difficult okay there's a Okay. Yes, nice. And a coin. Oh, the harder area right here. There's more of these guys. Nice. I was able to get both of them. Drain. Out and auto. Sweet. Got lucky there. Let's continue. There you go. Oh, okay. We did it. Let's get on to the last one, which is always a W. Three stat points along with 100 gems. Defeat 
Calavera and cleanse her coffin. Let's continue. Okay. It's going to be our team. Let's get it going. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and auto on this dungeon and I'll see you when I get to the boss. The ancient rapper Ravens already foresaw your path through here. Didn't you hear their song? No, oh, she died. Okay, we'll check her out right now. No problem. I always forget to turn off auto. I need to be careful. Go ahead and just go straight to town. I'm excited to get through here. Okay, we finally passed it, guys. It did take a little while, not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and collect. All right, Fenrir is owing. Goodbye. Let's get out of here. Let's go on to Steampunk City. Okay, now this is going to be very, very challenging, and you'll see why when we get there. But for now, we just got here, and I'm going to have to finish these dungeons before I go ahead and proceed on. So I'll be right back. All right, and I went ahead and finished those dungeons, and now we are going to be moving on to the loot drops for Tier 16. Let's go ahead and start off with Invasion. Invasion is going to have pretty much all these cosmetics right here, along with all the normal gear it has in Tier 16 now. As you can see, we have Tier 16 Legendaries, which is nice. Go ahead and go on to Trials Gauntlet. And be current tier right there. Let's check out the drops. Okay, so here we actually have a very compelling set, which I might actually try to go for. Here... As you can see, we have a Mythic Ring, which is 4% Earth Resistance, 4% Fire Damage, while below 40% Health, 20% Chance for Healing Skills received to be twice as effective. Now, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not sure if I would use this ring, per se, but it is an option. Let's go ahead and check out the main hand. It's going to be a axe, it seems. 4% air resistance, 4% earth damage, and it says gain 2.5% barrier from each rooted enemy, which is pretty nice, which means it probably has a lot of roots in it. Awesome intinerals, and here is the set. The set here is going to be Tigborn. Tigborn's 2 out of 4 is going to be Extort, which is pretty much initial damage at the beginning of the match, and that much damage is going to be turned into shields for you afterwards. For the 3 out of 4, it's shield self by 5% when you get hit, 10% earth resistance. That's not too bad. Now if we go to the 4 out of 4, 20% block, 30% chance to shield team for 20% when you get hit. Now that is pretty much a pet proc at 30% and that is honestly very, very lovely. This is a very nice set, has a lot of strong bonuses, and it also comes with a 20% block, which is very nice. Here are some legendaries that honestly look really clean. They all come with earth resistance, I believe, so there's those. Let's go and go on to the world boss. Now for the world boss, I believe it's just going to be Titans and Inferno. Oh, and Nordic now, I forgot. So Titans, let's go ahead and check them out. Titans tier 16. Let's go to Heroic. And this is going to be the loot drops here. The cosmetics as normal, along with a mythic neck called Thornstein Talisman, which is 4% water resistance, 4% electric damage. And it says skills that cost SP gain 20% healing bonus. Very, very nice, but not really needed for us, unfortunately. If we go to the second thing, however, Thornstein Shield, 4% water resistance, 4% electrical damage, revitalize, spread heal for 10% when you hit an enemy. That is a very, very strong um, mythic offhand for any DPS player. If you are a DPS player, this mythic is well worth going for and well worth taking with you to the top. There are a lot of people currently in tier 19 that are actually using this to pass the current D4 that is in the game, which is the year 19 D4. And they also used it for a bunch of other things and for some of their DPS builds in the current 
meta. So this is a very good mythic. If I were you, I would try going for this if you're a DPS, but just know that this is the only good thing in this whole area. I do not recommend this set at all, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and continue. We do have three mythic schematics, which are going to be the same that you've seen before. And here is the set, which is going to be Orvar. All pieces come with 4% electric damage. The two set bonus is when you use a skill or when you use an SP damage skill, increase your healing bonus by 20% once. Reset on any healing skill. So pretty much you just use any skill that's not a healing skill that costs SP and you get 20% heal power, I'm guessing. And here's the three out of four. Using a healing skill gives you 20% electric damage once. Reset on SP damage skill. Same thing, but electric damage. So the two and the three are pretty much the opposite of each other. Four out of four piece is expender three. Bleed all for 40%. 10% overheal converted to team enrage. Now, the reason why that is actually good is because you only have to spend three SP and you'll bleed the whole team for 40% of your damage very nice solid skill but at the end of it it's not the greatest thing ever so i would probably refrain from using it myself let's go ahead and go on to inferno which i believe is where the best dps set is here yes it is okay so we have the same cosmetics and here's the thornstein wall mythic offhand which gives four percent earth resistance and four percent fire damage now if i were you I would not go for this mythic offhand. I would go for the mythic offhand in Titans, but I would definitely get the set here if you want to be a stellar DPS with the set in the current tier that you're in, which should be tier 16 if you're watching this and trying to follow along. So I would just disregard Thornstein Wall and go straight for the other mythic in Titans. Let's go ahead and check out the body here. Mythic body, Thornstein scale, 4% earth resistance, 4% fire damage, 3% team damage and rage. Now that's not too bad. This isn't too bad to get. I wouldn't go for it, but it is a nice body to have if you don't have one already. This one is fairly solid. You of course get the pinions along with the two mythic schematics as normal in Inferno. And here is the ANR set. This set was extremely, extremely strong and still is to this day. The only reason people don't rock it right now is because you cannot use it with Clover. If Clover wasn't a thing, people would still be rocking this set to today in its glory. So INR for the two out of four is 3% ricochet chance, which is whatever, right? It's not the greatest. And for the three out of four set bonus, it's gonna be plus 5% fire damage, revenge, which is gain 40% damage and rage each time that your attack is evaded or blocked. That's pretty decent since evade and block is in meta. That is very good. Maybe not block, but there's always block. Like almost everyone that runs an evade accessory has block on it unless they run the guild accessory. So it's very hard not to have block on your that's as a defensive player since a lot of things come with block including sets so this is pretty nice to have you'll be procking that all the time and here is the four out of four which is 15 percent in power 20 percent chance to attack the fastest enemy when you hit an enemy so it's pretty much pet proc which is 20 percent chance to attack the fastest enemy when you hit very 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 solid set if your DPS don't even think about the other set, just get this set. You don't need the body. It's nice to have. If you want an offhand, get Titans. Now let's check out the last world boss, which is Nordic Dream. And this is Maxton. Yo, mate. Looks like you've been stressed. You are too worried about that Evolvium stuff. I heard you have problems to sleep, right? I'll help you. Take one of these runits before you hit the bed i'm sure it will do the work <laughs> nice okay let's go ahead and go on a heroic let's check here yes this is the very beginning of it let's check the drops now this set 
honestly is not bad and i'm going to tell you right now it's kind of worth going for if you really just don't want to go anr it is probably the second best option here for a dps but inr is just so much better in so many ways it, it just really is but let's get on with it this is going to be the cosmetics it's going to be two mounts we have fenrir and we have slepnir personally slepnir looks weird the legs are all messed up i don't like it but Fenrir is a very nice cosmetic and I really think if you guys get it you would rock it. It is sick. Let's check out the mythic offhand. As you see there's three offhands in tier 16 for world boss. Um, this one isn't bad to go for either. It's still better than the one in inferno so pretty much if you're going for inferno offhands from either other world boss that you are not going on like that you're not playing on is better. So if you're going to be farming inferno for INR the moment you get INR leave it just leave it and go anywhere else for the rest um you can get the body from there but for the offhand you will want to go to either this one or titans titans preferred though so this one gives four percent electric resistance with four percent air damage and a 15 percent chance to gain one sp per turn now that is very solid if you want to be gaining that sp very very nice that's going to be for thornstein guard here we have thornstein locket which is 4% electric resistance, 4% air damage, and your skills gain 5% air damage for each SP they cost. Here we're going to have pinions, of course, and the lurky schematic. Now, if you do plan to pretty much go all out in the game, if you want my opinion on a very meta familiar, that's a DPS familiar, Lurky is probably the best, if not a very close second best, for the strongest damage dealing familiar in the game when it comes to being a DPS. They have so much going on for them. They're so amazing. And maybe I'll make a familiar review in the future so you guys can see what he's all about. But that is a very good schematic to get. And I highly recommend making him if you plan on farming Nordic from here on out. All right, let's go ahead and go on to Tire Nogs. This is going to be a air set. It's going to, all pieces are going to give 4% air damage. For the two out of four bonus, it's going to be 15% chance for skills to not spend SP. Now that 15% chance is very nice. Honestly, that's a very nice two piece bonus. Let's go on with the three piece bonus, which is 25% air damage on skills over two SP. Not bad at all, not bad at all. And then here, we have the four piece, which is gain 50% air damage on targets above 70% health. 30% dual strike on skills over 2 SP. Now that is extremely good. But let me tell you something. It still doesn't outshine INR, which is why I told you this is probably the second best option only for that reason. INR is just too strong, way too strong. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be the drops for World Boss. These are the other schematics. Um, the legendaries here have air damage, but the schematics here is going to be for Torg, which I believe is an air bait or sorry, uh, absorb baiter tank. I could be wrong completely, uh, but it's an okay tank. Then we have Fenry, which is a very solid damage dealing familiar and Velospa, which is another solid damage dealing familiar. I would not blame y'all if y'all wanted to go for any of these two. They are very, very solid familiars. If you did want to get something other than your Drazic and move on up, you could start here because if you do, you will be closer to making Lurgy once you finish one or two, if not three of these. So this is a very good place to start farming new familiars after Titans. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get on through the raid. Okay... We are now in the Wolf's Deception. Now this raid is very tough if you don't have decent carries, and I mean that. So make sure you guys have carries that are tier 18 or higher. Tier 17 or higher will get through, but it just depends on the gear. I'm telling you right now, when I was in tier 17, I would come back to tier 16 and I would try to do this raid to farm some stuff and I would still be getting hit pretty hard. So make sure you guys buckle on down with those carries. Okay, let's check out the loot. So this is probably one of the coolest mounts that you can get for free, which is a uh, pup rear. Very, very nice mount cosmetic. Now this ring is a ring that I recommend you replace the ring on in, um, in the trials gauntlet. 
area you don't want the ring from there you're going to want this ring or you're going to want to up tier your Berea's meteor one or the other either or is fine you could always try um, mixing sets if you want as well a lot of people like doing that but in my opinion uh Th thornstein ban or Berea's meteor are perfect ignore the one in trials gauntlet go ahead and check out the helmet thornstein crown very cool cosmetic i'll tell you that right now this head piece is very very solid so this is 4% water resistance, 4% electric damage, and plus 5% absorb if you have the lowest health of your team. Now, the reason I don't like this is because to me, absorb is nice, but it's just always such a low proc or percentage chance that you're never going to proc it. So that's whatever on y'all. Y'all can decide if you want to do that. But in my opinion, I, I personally do not like the bonus on this mythic. You're of course going to get the Curios, and here are the schematics. Kazulum and Thunmolf schematic. Very nice, but we're not going to be making those in this playthrough, at least anytime soon. Now let's go on to the set. The set is going to be Undina. Now this Undina set is very solid. It's a very solid set, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm still unsure if I'm going to go for Undina or if I'm going to go for Sigborn, and let me show you why. They're both very solid sets. For the 2 out of 4, it's when you get hit gain 2.5 water resistance up to 10%. So that's 10% water resistance right there, right? Here's the three out of four. 25 barrier if you have the lowest health of your team. Now that's cool, but how often do you have the bait up front? I had to do it last time, yeah, but how often do you have the bait up front? You know what I mean? So it's nice, but it's just barrier on a bait is just so rare because it's really not that needed i'll tell you why it's good though if you try doing solo runs or everyone dies on your team except you it'll prevent any brain procs at all so that is pretty good that's nice that's only if they of course hit the 25 percent barrier now for the four out of four it's a 25 percent chance to deflect the damage to the furthest enemy if you have the lowest health of your team now the reason why i would want to go for this set is because i've been having to fill for bait so this set would be very nice because i'll definitely be the lowest health if i decide to go bait i've been wanting to be a bait and this playthrough more than a tank but my bait has just been i mean my tanks have just been lacking as well i really need to work on my tanks as well I really want to max out teeth as fast as possible, but seeing as I'm already getting to Nordic, I don't know how that's going to be possible. So I might have to go another route. Teeth is still something that I'm definitely going to be going for in the future. But as of right now, I might make something temporary like Demeter or something else. Here, again, we do have a set that's for bait. Now, I like this personally. It is very, very solid and it does deflect the damage to the back. Unfortunately, this does not stack with normal traditional deflect. So it is its own proc. So if you don't proc this, you might be able to still proc your deflect if you're running a deflect style build. So that's what's really great about all this. I might go for this, still unsure. The legendaries here give water resistance and the schematics are Gryushido. Solby and Jacqueline. Now, Griyushidu is not bad. Unfortunately, you're going to have to go with a lot of um, damage reduction, mythic pumps if you want him to work. He has a very low health pool, but they're pretty much a discount Thunmolf if you're looking for something like that. Griyushido is not bad, and they have mad swag. They look very cool. But that is going to be the drops. Let's go on to the raid so we can check them out. Okay, so before anything, for this raid, since it is getting a little harder and your carries might vary, you're going to want it to be tank, bait, DPS, DPS, tank, just to start off. So here we have two new familiars. For the first one, we have Turi, or Torui, Torui, however you say it, uh, plus 10% water resistance. They also have a bonus on bottom, which is plus 35% water resistance, making it 45 water resistance. Each turn, lose 5% and gain 5% water damage. So I'm not sure if that also counts towards the original 10%, but it's still a lot of resistance right off the bat. That just means that if you have a water style um, weapon, you're not really going to be doing much to them. So you got to be careful with that. Now let's go into their skills. 
Deals water damage to target enemy and freeze. That looks very cool. I love that animation. And then we have Frost Pelt, Shield Self. So they're definitely going to be the tank, especially looking at their stats. They also have Bolstering Charge, deals water damage, and drain from the closest enemy. And Ragnarok Squeal, deals water damage and drain health from all enemies. Now that is pretty devastating, but their speed is very, very low. So I would not even worry about that. Let's check out this second guy here. Deals water damage and drain from the closest enemy. Okay, pretty cool. Feathery Punch deals water damage to the weakest enemy two times. That's a freaking cool, that's a very cool animation. Deals water damage to the furthest enemy and freeze. The freeze is starting to show up a little more. It looks like um, amplifiers are coming out, which is very, very dangerous. Ice Screech deals water damage to random enemy two times and freeze. So this guy seems to be doing a lot. He has the same bonus as Turi. So what I think is you need to take him out first before anything. So as of right now, he is definitely a priority over Turi. Go ahead and auto on till we see another familiar that we haven't seen before. There should be one more and then the boss. Did see the other familiar right there. There he is. Okay. This is going to be the new one. Balton. 10% water damage. And they also have the same bonus. Just looking at them, you can tell they're damage dealing. So they're definitely going to be a DPS. They have Chilling Slash, which deals water damage to the closest two enemies and freeze. Pretty strong, honestly. Deals water damage to the furthest and closest enemy. Okay, so that's like... This guy can pretty much hit almost everything so far. Deals water damage to random enemy two times and freeze. Now that random enemy two times and freeze could kill your bait. Deals water damage to all enemies. So this guy is very dangerous. He is the highest priority. You will be targeting out Fulton. And then you'll be talking, uh, targeting out Ulvar. After that, then you can get Turi. But everything should be fine if you just go in that order. I'm going to go ahead and auto on through. I'll see you at the boss. I'm not giving you this armor. Finders keepers, it's mine. You know what else is mine? Your smelly head. All right, let's check him out. So this is gonna be Grimolf. 12.5% water damage. You can see to the bottom, they do have a lot, a lot of um, power and a decent amount of speed with very low health. Indicating that they might be a damage dealing familiar. They seem to hit like a truck. They also have the same bonus on the bottom, which is the 35% water resistance. Each turn lose 5% and gain 5% water damage. So they get stronger the longer they are alive. They have Frost Punch, which is deals water damage to the weakest enemy and freeze. Very cool enemy. They have Snow Charge, deal water damage to the closest two enemies. Very scary as well. They also have this one, which is deals water damage to target enemy two times. That is very devastating. They can target out your bait or your DPS fairly easily with that. Deals water damage to the furthest and closest enemy. Okay. And deals water damage and drain from a random enemy. You don't really have to worry too much about this 3SP. I, don't, I doubt they'll be able to use that that often. But these guys seem pretty dangerous and I do recommend you target them out as a priority only because they are the boss familiar and they do tend to hit pretty often and pretty hard so you'll be targeting grimolf first and then you'll continue in the order i gave you earlier but since we are on are using our carries and i am a higher level on my carries i'm gonna go ahead and but since i actually have my carries with me right now i'm gonna go ahead and auto on through seeing as it'll be very very easy I'll see you at the end of the dungeon. All right, and that's going to be everything from tier 16, all the loot drops. So tier 15 was pretty difficult. I'm not gonna lie, so far one of the most difficult, if not the difficult, most difficult one. I am very surprised that we are struggling this bad. It seems like I need to work on my familiars already again. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I might be staying in tier 16 a little longer than I did in 15, of course. So you might see me here for a while and the next Let's Play might take a little while to come out. 
Not as much as some of the other ones did. I know some of them took quite a while to come out, but the good thing is I am already ready when it comes to the Bitgore and some stuff to farm with, but I'm sure I'll get the gear. It's just the familiars I'm going to be working on. Honestly, tier 16 is going to be very, very challenging and I really cannot wait to attempt it, but I definitely need to work on either a bait familiar or a tank familiar. I'm thinking that I can get away with a bait familiar, but I'm still not sure. I'm definitely gonna either max out a lattice or make a tank. Either or, it'll help me decide what set I'm gonna go for, and you'll see when we get the next Let's Play. If you see me in game, say hi. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll make sure I answer them, or any of the amazing veteran players that always watch my videos will help you out as well. Thank you much for stopping by. This is World Eater. Have a great one, guys. Peace.